so I have the, where is it? There it is, no batteries. This is the Fuchai R7 by Sigeli. Okay, and I also have the 200 watt. This was like my first mod ever. I had to pull this off a shelf because it, uh, my R7 is malfunctioning. So these batteries I've been using pretty much for a couple hours. And as you can see, they're right about 80%. So a little under 80%. So I'm gonna take it out of this one. Then I'm gonna put it over into the R7 with that. This way. Okay. And this one goes like this. Right? Yeah. Negative. Positive. Okay. Upside down. And here we are. High voltage. Those batteries over there are fully charged. And they are reading at 4.5 one eight and four point two zero so I'm gonna pull these off the top okay and set that back on the try so these ones are pretty low it says it's full and says high voltage okay so I'm gonna take these ones off I wish there was a strap to make that easier here's the batteries that are fully charged Okay, high voltage. Let's go ahead and move the Sub-Zero rebuildable atomizer over to the R7 off of the 200 watt. Let's go ahead and move it over. Oops. Come on. Thread down. There we go. I'm going to thread this one down. and high voltage still so it doesn't matter if i use dead batteries or fully charged batteries or dying batteries in fact i think i have a set of dead batteries because i forgot to put it back on the charger so there's one set there's a set that came out of this one okay and then here is a set that i forgot to put on the charger this morning i'm going to put these ones in Okay, and no way that should be reading a full battery. These batteries were not on the charger this morning. I left it on my desk. So it's reading it at 5.92, I believe that's the volts it's input. Yeah. And then it's reading at... 0.25 ohms and if it will focus a little better it's in wattage mode which is what I normally run this RDA in and then if I put my tank on which is a I believe it's the baby beast by smock one second to grab it I need to put juice in it. So if I put the baby beast on it, which is normally what I run on this, unless I'm running my mechanical, then I'll run my, uh, or if I'm, unless I've got this puppy out, or unless I don't buy coil for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and drop the wattage down to where I run this one at, which is, oop, that is too low. Come on, get to 50. There we go. High voltage. So it doesn't matter with the tank, it doesn't matter with the rebuildable, and it doesn't matter with fully charged batteries, dead batteries, or kind of dead batteries. And to show you that all my batteries work, well, minus those ones, those are dead. Uh, we'll put these ones back in to the 200 watt. So there's that, over. See, the strap makes my life so much easier. Down, where's my battery cover? There it is. And we'll put the, I don't have a coil for this because I forgot to get one this morning or today. 
Uh, and I don't have a vape shop that's open right now when I'm doing this recording because it's about 2 o'clock in the morning where I live. So, yeah. So, oops, got to turn it on. There we go, 150 watts. Works fine. Whew, that ramp up time. So. Like always, guys, thanks for watching.